Yo, yo, guys, Callum me today from Off Targets Fiber and Prepping. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overall of where I keep a lot of my bug out equipment and a lot of other people's in my family who bug out equipment. So, the uh, tasks or the problems, sorry, that I've had to overcome in my, you know, preparing this plan is in a situation, I'm in the UK, I'm not, you know, to answer that fact. We don't have other than like, you know, some place in Europe or some place in the US or Canada or wherever. We are limited in the amount of other than we have, but. I still believe that being in an environment which most people in the UK won't associate with, there's going to be resources I can use there, you know, in a situation which could be a shit as a fan end of day scenario, I do believe it's my best option. My two primary bug out locations are heavily wooded, fairly heavily wooded, like you, you are in a lot of woodland, there's a lot of resources around you, you can actively protect yourself, you can actively stay hidden, you know, in this hypothetical scenario. So. What I had to do is basically work out for winter, also is keep people dry, keep people warm, and also I want to keep people camouflaged. Moving around the environment, if I'm moving around in average everyday civilian clothing I'm referred to it as, referred to it as you are going to be easy to see. If I'm walking through the woodland in a wooded area in something that's camouflaged, it is gonna be harder for the naked eye to see me. Basic logic, you know, people beyond military, Hunters used to come off large, photographers for wild photography, you know, bird watchers, hundreds of people used to come off large, utilize it for different situations because it's effective, it does its job. It's a piece of art in a sense, you know, come off large, whatever you want to face it as. It's made and it does the purpose fairly well if you get decent come off large, your environment. So, we'll go over everything now. So, first of all, we'll kind of go over what's over here. So, if you do sound a bit groggy today, I just want to apologize. So, over here, we mainly have extra bug out equipment for example I've got my CBRN kit so this is my NBC suit for just some kind of nuclear biological chemical threat I've got a load of extra stuff stored there like my urban protection kit um, my air rifle and other bits and bobs stored over there we're not going, we're going over this and on here this is my personal webbing system I've upgraded it a fair bit this cost me about 50 quid uh, currently just in the process of finishing doing it but I will make a dedicated video so this is the branded SMF combat vessel, you know, technical vessel or something, but it's a really good bit of kit. We'll go over that in the future. I have someone else's vest on there I'm currently sorting out. My sleeping system from the bug out bag, which is here, is there. So a quick little thing over that. I have decided to change the pistol crossbow in my bug out kit to the Alligator Plus. So the crossbow's been taken out, I still need to take this one apart and store it in my bag, but yep, for now it's just there. Uh, to be sorted. So, that will start with pretty much going with the That's just extra care from bits and bobs and the sleeping system. So now we're going to get into the clothing. So we are going to pretty much go over winter clothing and someone else is here in a second. My brother's winter clothing. But pretty much everything that's in there, with the exception of um, a net gaiter and socks, do you know, you won't see them. Do you know, it's the same as what my brother's got. But we'll go over this first. So in my plan, do you know, of staying from a large environment, so I wanted I want three people active. Now, what active means is they can leave camp with camouflage on. Everyone will probably have camouflage. I have enough here to care out everyone. But this is the proper, decent, expensive ones that will keep people warm, keep people dry. So, actively, actively be camouflaged, actively be able to leave camp. I'm not just staying around camp, staying hidden there. Actively going, you know, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 miles out of it to find resources. So first of all, we have my kit. So I've got my Brandit, again, same make as my uh, webbing system thing. So this is a Brandit, I can't remember the name of it, or something head. Outdoor something jacket, but 100 quid, cracking bit of kit. I mean, this on its own would keep me fairly waterproof and warm, but just for backup in them really cold weather situations, I do just have a simple, you know, cheap fleece. I think we got this from a, fucking, where did I get this from? A charity shop, like eight, years ago or something before I even got into prepping. So now guys we'll go over this jacket. So this is made of um, seal skin. I don't know the exact price. I got this off a buddy of mine years ago. Uh, the zip is bust on it, but it's for a smaller guy anyway. I won't fit in that. But it basically just works now. It's like a throwover jumper, but believe me for what it is, I won't get rid of it. My mate uh, is used this. My brother's also used this. And my mate, when we went camping, it was. Uh, he said it was brilliant. Nothing wrong with it all. Said it kept him warm overnight. This wasn't the same friend to give it me, but yeah, 
cracking bit of kit. So that's, uh, you know, it's actually a different camouflage. Now the main reason being that is not to be used outside of camp. So, I mean, it is meant to be, but around camp more so. So that's one of the older adults in my family unit. The two in the woodland camouflages are to be used actively to maybe leave, but no one beyond me will be leaving more than like two pounds away from camp anyway. So, man's flecked on kit, I have the most kit, I'm the most ready for this in you know, the situation, in whatever situation it might be. So that's why my kit's necessarily the best, mine is the best in the lightest weight, in a sense. Everyone else is generally just surplus of kit I've got for free. But, you know, it works, it does the job, but I'm kitting myself out the best. Then everyone else is an afterthought. But mine and my brother's winter kits are pretty much the same, so we'll go over that now. So inside my winter kit, I have this exact same hat, British DPM like waterproof winter hat. I have the exact same pair of gloves, a thermal light or something, cracking pair of gloves I wear my pair every winter. Uh, oh, his t-shirt's there as well, that's just his uh, t-shirt and DPM, all of his kit is actually DPM funnily enough, just by them from different surplus bins. Here we have his, you know, waterproof mittens. We'll go over his gloves or he can wear them on his own, just on their own I mean. Uh, he has a balaclava, same as me, he's in black, mine's in olive green. Uh, both the exact same balaclava except for the colour. reason I got it, thermal lined and intimidation. Do you know if we need to intimidate a group of people who might be a potential threat? Us going up in balaclavas with uh, crossbars on our hands, it's going to be fairly intimidating in a hypothetical scenario. <coughs> I said all this is for hypothetical situation. Not to be taken. This could happen tomorrow, of course, but this is hypothetical at the moment. Uh, there's his fleece, this is just standard military when I got in some surplus stuff. Good little bit of kit though. I wore it years ago when it fit me. <laughs> Born a bit since then. Then, last of all in his kit, he's got his you know, these are airborne combat pants or something. Cost me about 50 quid. Uh, these were mine again originally, but they fit him now. They're a bit baggy on him, but. They're fucking really well made, so I went from them to the side, and he has a DPM simple field jacket. He'd wear this around camp if he was going to the toilet at night, but it's still camouflaged. Or if he wanted to be lightweight, he had that option instead of wearing this big jacket. Now the plus of this is I, he could effectively you wanted to take away his jumper and that jacket. This does have a you know jumper that you can take in and out. The buttons onto the inside. And yeah, cracking bit of kit there. So then other clothing you see here, top and bottom shelves, as you know, for my personal clothing stuff that I might wear, you know, out and about. But then these other two shelves are pretty much stocked up with, you know, I've got three extra DPM jackets and little jackets, three and MTP. I've got two pair. I've got a pair of olive green pants, a pair of US Marpat camel pants, some desert, some boiler suits, good for insulation, they're there for uh, <coughs> members of a family, it's insulating boiler suits for going under their civilian clothes or the camouflage you choose to wear. <coughs> so yeah that's more or less it for you, all that's really left is at the bottom I keep some shoes, so my personal pair of shoes, these are um, sketch and walking boots, cost me 100 quid, cracking a bit of kit, if I can find these definitely below in the description down below. And not the laces come out, but my brother's boots. Now he does have his own personal walking boots, so we probably will take them, but I do just keep these here, so he's got that option. It's a pair of military boots, some surplus ones. So I think that is pretty much it. The only thing you can think of now is obviously keep my bug out bag here, this is my story. But another option that could be taken with me, but isn't a first thought, is in here is just uh, two ghillie suits, one for me, one for my brother. They do give you that option, but they aren't necessary in a situation. They're just there, uh, they're just kept in there. So, if you get to see some not getting out because they're all good to fall back up and put back in. But yeah, that's pretty much the overall of where I keep on my kit, guys. So, now, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Quick overall of where I keep all my equipment. I do have more stored over there, stored over there, all over, but this is all my ready equipment stuff that I'm not currently working on, <coughs> more or less. So, I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, all that good stuff. Check the description down below for the Discord, that's more or less it. Peace.